Palestinian journalist Sam Shahada was interviewing evacuees fleeing Israeli strikes when he came under attack. He is one of three journalists injured by Israeli strikes in this neighborhood of Deir el-Balah in central Gaza. We were covering the displacement and evacuation of residents from an area of the new camp, north of Al Nusayrat camp. We filmed some interviews and rushes, but unfortunately we were standing at crossroads where a group of us were targeted. At least five people killed in what Israeli forces described as targeted operations on the camp. 140 Palestinian journalists have been killed since October the 7th and dozens wounded. Shada lost his foot. More than six months into Israel's war, journalists wearing press vests, just like aid workers in branded vehicles, continue to be victims of Israel's onslaught. Israel's war has turned Gaza into a near total battlefield. In a moment of quiet, children have nowhere to turn but to the rubble from past attacks to a place to play. We built this game because all of our toys have been destroyed and our houses have been destroyed and there's nothing left for us to play with except for this pipe. These children are never too far away from danger, on the ground or from the sky. With media officers facing widespread destruction in Gaza, journalists in the enclave have increasingly sought refuge in hospitals. Media watchdogs have warned that assaults on hospitals have further restricted the ability of the press to work safely. They have been calling for an independent probe into Israel's deliberate targeting of journalists. Tariq Abazoum, Al Jazeera, Rafah, Southern Gaza. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.